Hello and welcome back. I'm back again. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Let's see, it's about Saturday late morning here in Tucson. Okay, I just got this uh, a couple hours ago. So this is, it's called the digital TDS meter. Okay, so this meter tell you how hard your water is. Okay, the fact is I'm living in Arizona, especially Tucson. We are notorious uh, uh, for the water is so hard. Okay, so that's why I usually drink uh, the water. The water uh, I, I'm getting water from the water machine. And then, so my coffee machine, I've, I've been using, uh, let's say my refrigerator machine right here. Hold on, maybe I can show you guys right there. So that's my refrigerator. And then I have this uh, water filter. It's called Pure Line. And uh, so this is made for my uh, refrigerator water filter. I bought this supposedly rated really good, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test my hardness of water using, uh, that's a TDS meter. So let's, let me show you, okay? So I have, it's gonna be fun. So let, uh, let me get ready for this. Because if you haven't, okay, if, if you haven't tested your, your water yet, Get this. This is only about $12 from Amazon. I got this. So this, this machine, this device tell you how hard your water is. Uh, it doesn't tell you about like, you know, PHC, pH balance, but at least tell you the hardness of your water. Okay, so very simple. Uh, they give you the number after that. So let's do it. Okay, so first, so first line up. So let's start with, you know what, let's start with the tap water, okay? So this is my tap water from my faucet. So simply, you are going to put the line up to that line right there and tell you the number. I'm looking at 397. So my first one, I got 397. I'm gonna clear it. So 397, uh, for the tap water, okay, on back, they give you the different rating. Hold on, so 400, 397 is almost 400. Yeah, water is hot and it's hard water, okay. It's not good for drinking. Okay, so next one is the, this one from my refrigerator. Using this fancy water filter, okay. I'm really excited to try this one because I've been using this water for the last year and a half. Uh, actually going on two years for my uh, Barista Express. So let's find out here. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Hold on. 320, 338, okay, 339, 338. <laughs> okay, so we got, this one was what, 390? Hold on, let's try one more time. Tap water was three, hold on. 397, so around 400 range there. Okay. And then my tap water was three, what, 360? Yeah, 330, yep, 330, 340. It's terrible. Okay. So now, so we know my refrigerator water is hard. Tap water is pretty much about the same. So now we are going to test our, so this is the water machine. My five gallon water machine there. Number at number 13. Okay, so that's good. So this is water is really, you know, there's good water, so they're pretty soft. I, so they are definitely acceptable water. Okay, so this is the, so now, so what I done was, I just switch out my machine to, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna start using my, uh, the water, not the water. So this water is from the water machine uh, from this facility in Tucson. So I'm gonna be using that from now on. Okay, you know what, for, just for fun, I have my uh, water from Costco. So this is a uh, purified water. 
reverse osmosis. Let's find out what's the water content for this. Okay. Let's try because 27. Okay, so this is 27. So that's also acceptable as well. Okay. So 27, so anything, is, anything under number 30 is good. Number 50 is good. All right. So pretty much this uh, telling me if you have like single boiler machine like I have, like uh, Rancho Servia, if I'm using the uh, filter water from, uh, I'm using water from my uh, refrigerator filter water or tap water, about the same. And I have to do regular this scale. Okay, that's must. If not, uh, you are going to have this all the calcium deposit. It's going to be ruin on my boiler. So I just switch out the water uh, from my eventually uh, Servia this morning. So I I'm going to be uh, from now on. I'm going to be using the water from my, you know, the water machine place. Anyway, so if you haven't uh, test your water, get one of these. Okay, this is cheap from Amazon. It's going to be definitely let you know the, how hard is your water is. I know some of you out there using water filter anyway, but I bought this, okay? It cost me 36 bucks uh, for my refrigerator. Supposedly, kind of like catch all the hardness of water. Does not work, okay? It's called Pure Line. So about the same as tap water, comes to quality wise. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put the link down below on Amazon. Uh, it's, again, it's really cheap. Someone asked me about the, my let. Uh, not yet, okay? So I think I'm going to stick with my Rancho Servia for now. And then, yes, I, I think I'm going to stick with the Rancho Servia, trying to refine my technique comes to shots. So that is a plan for the next few months. So, so that's what I'm going to do. And then what else? Uh, any questions? about? Okay, I, anyway, so water is very important, okay? Especially uh, your machine, if you have like single boiler machine, even though uh, Bristol Express has thermal block, but make sure, whenever you turn the light on for this scale, make sure do the descaling. If you are using refrigerator water, uh, even though it's a supposedly filter, I thought my machine was filter using this, I guess not, okay? I was very disappointed. I find, and I'm, come on. Same as tap water quality, not good. Did you answer what you thought this person's well. interested in? Oh, oh, by the way, okay, by the way, someone asking me about the roulette. Mm -hmm. Okay, roulette is fantastic machine. Mara X. Yeah, Mara X. And the, I mean, those motion, again, they can't go wrong with it. I mean, what, once you start looking at those kind of machines, I mean, we got little lab, we got what else out there? We got Rockies out there, we got ECM. They're interested in Lillette. Lillette. I mean, okay, so Lillette is fine. I don't know much about it, but, okay, but I've done enough, you know, uh, research, and I never use it in person, in person, but I heard enough about it. I mean, Lillette is a fine machine. But if, if you ask me, what do you think about it? My personal point of view, I don't have any, uh, not a lot of opinion on that. So, sorry, I cannot give you a more definite answer for you. Any questions? I think we are good. Okay. So, tomorrow morning, it's going to be fun tomorrow morning. I'm going to compare my, uh, the mirror right grinder from San Anthony Industry. So that one, I'm going to compare that with my niche grinder, okay? And then I'm going to compare that with my Bravo built-in grinder as well. So because Bravo built-in grinder is the same as a Bravo, the Pro Smart Grinder. So it's going to be, so I'm going to be comparing uh, a manual hand grinder with Bravo and niche and find out, you know, is that really worth getting? So it's going to be really fun. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, Saturday afternoon and then uh, see you guys tomorrow morning.